guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my first tag video, which is really exciting. I am doing the eyeshadow palette tag, and this was created by two of my favorite YouTubers, Allie Glines and Samantha March. And I've also seen a few other people do it. I know Mandy Lee did it and Kelly Gooch did it. So I really wanted to do it myself because my makeup collection is not too, too large, but I think the product that I have the most of is definitely my eyeshadow palettes. I thought this would be really fun for me to do. So let's get started with the first one, and this one is the newest palette. Technically, my brand, brand new palette is the Natasha Denona Safari palette, and this just got here yesterday. This is what it looks like. It's definitely not a new palette, but this has been on my list since it came out and I knew I was definitely not paying full price for this. So I waited till it went on sale and then I finally picked it up. I haven't even used this yet, so I am really looking forward to using that. But the other new one, I just used this in my recent Sephora haul. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Carly Bible palette. I did a look on this in my last video, and I used a few shades in the palette. I only used one of the shimmers, so I really wanna use the rest of the shimmers in this palette, so I can't wait to use this again. And the next category is the oldest palette, and this one, I had to go back and forth because I could not remember when I got certain palettes, and I think my first ever palette I do not have anymore. I used a little Alme quad, and I used that for such a long time. I'm gonna see if I can find it online and find a picture of it, and I will pop it up on the screen. But that was my first ever palette, and I did finally get rid of it. I did recently move, so that was one of the palettes that I left at home and I did not bring with me, so I do not have that anymore. Anyway, the other palette that I do have that I'm pretty sure is my oldest palette is the Too Faced Natural Eyes palette. And this is the original one. I know they just redid this one in their new natural line. I love these original tin ones. I have a few of these palettes, but this was the first one that I got. I love this palette. It's obviously very neutral and I do like wearing colors. So I don't really dip into this too, too much. And I definitely want to get back into using this because I do love it. Number three is the most expensive palette and we are going back to the Natasha Nona Safari palette. This is by far my most expensive palette and I still did not pay full price for this. This is $129 full price, so that was definitely not happening. And it did go on sale during the VIB sale and that's when I picked it up but then it went on 50% off sale. And of course I had already bought it, but I didn't wanna to have to deal with calling customer service and having them price match or anything like that. So I just kept it the way it is. Number four is the most affordable palette. I think everybody that has done this tag that I have seen at least have included these palettes. And these are the e.l.f. bite-sized palettes. I have three of these, but I really like them. For the price, these are $3. So comparing this to the $129, well, that's not what I paid, but $129 of this Natasha Denona palette, this price range is ridiculous. And the formula is really good. For $3, four shades, you can't really beat it. Number five is the most everyday palette. So for this, I chose the Anastasia Sultry palette. I don't really like super warm toned eyeshadows, so that's why I lean more towards this palette because it is more cool toned, but I love the pop of color with this bloom shade right here. But this is the perfect palette for work. I use this, I think, for my first week at my new job just to be a little bit on the safe side with my eyeshadow looks and I think every single look I did with this palette turned out beautifully. And number six is on the opposite side of the spectrum and that is the most colorful palette and this one was a no-brainer for me. This is the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette and this is the definition of a rainbow palette. 
It pretty much has every single shade that you could possibly need in this palette. I have actually only used this a handful of times. I just wanted to have this in my collection just in case I wanted to do a specific look that had any of these colors. It's not the best formula. They're a little bit chalky, but they do build up well. I kind of just pat them on. I don't really blend these out very much just because they are pretty chalky, so they will kind of blend right off. But you want those for the colors, and that's why I have this palette. That's why I keep it. So number seven is my smallest palette, and a lot of people are using this as well, the e.l.f. Bite Size palettes. But I kind of wanted to do what Allie Glines did with the size of the pans, and that's what I'm doing. This is the Viseart Petite Pro, and this is, whoops, this is the original Petite Pro. Those are the shades in this palette, and it's so, so tiny. You can see in my hand how small it is, and comparing to e.l.f., of course, this is the same size at least lengthwise, you can see there that they're the same, but I mean, even just looking at them, you can see how much smaller the Viseart shades are if you put them right next to each other. They're pretty much half the size as the e.l.f. ones, but I wanted to at least pick a different palette for this and not use the e.l.f. one again, so that's the Viseart Petite Pro. And then the next one is the largest palette, and this was another no-brainer for me. And this is the Morphe 39A Dare to Create palette. This thing is gigantic. It is huge. <laughs> but this comes with so many shades. This is the palette right here. So it comes with a lot. There are a lot of darker tones, actually. And it's pretty neutral, minus the colors on here on the bottom. I've only used this a handful of times as well. I really like that the middle shades are larger pan sizes than everything else, and those are the crease shades. I, whoa, I really wish it was a little bit smaller because it's hard to store. This does not fit in my Alex drawers, so I do have to kind of prop it up on my shelf over here but that's my largest palette. Number nine is the palette with the best memory, and this one I chose the Tartlet Tees palette from Tarte. Here's what the palette looks like on the inside. It's another really cute small palette. This was actually the first palette I bought for myself, and like I mentioned, that All My Quad. I don't even remember if I bought that or it was my mom's or my aunt's and I just somehow got it. But this was the first one that I actually bought with my own money. And this one and the Viseart Petite Pro, actually, I bought these very close to each other. But that's why this has the best memory, just because this is when I really first started getting into makeup, buying my own palettes for myself. I really like this palette. It's not going anywhere. I still like using this when I travel because it's the perfect size. And you do get six shades, so you can do a complete look with this palette, which I enjoy, and it just, it's very nostalgic for me because where I am now with makeup, I have a pretty significant amount of makeup now, and this was just the start of it. The next category is the palette that's worth the hype. I know this one was hyped up a lot, everybody loves this, and this is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I'm obsessed with this palette. One, for the packaging, I love this. It's so compact, and yet you get a bajillion shades in here. <laughs> you get 7, 14, 21 shades in this palette, and you can pretty much do any look you want. It comes with a pretty big mirror, and I love that you can fold the whole thing back and it keeps it as compact, so it makes it really easy to travel. That's what the marketing was for this palette, and I mean, it is called the Born to Run palette, like, traveling born to run so it does have all of the pictures of places where you can travel and sightsee i really like that that was their marketing for this and you can take this palette on a trip and do a neutral look you can use the entire top row for your neutral looks and then some of the bottom row but then you get those pops of color so perfect palette definitely worth the hype so then the next one is the opposite of that, and this is the palette that is not worth the hype, and I kind of did something different with this. I decided to do something that's not worth the hype for the price. So, and I actually chose the Huda Beauty Obsessions palettes, 
and I say all of them in general just because they're all the same size and the same price range. They're either $27 or $29. And the only one I have is the Electric Obsessions palette, and that is the colorful one right here. The, I mean, don't get me wrong, the palette is gorgeous. The shades perform really nicely, but this little thing is $27 which it's great if you need to travel. That's why I wanted to compare that with the ColourPop 9 Pan palettes. And this one, this is the Just My Luck palette. And the palette obviously is bigger than the Huda one, so this one is definitely easier to travel with. But this comes with a really good size mirror, which is great for traveling. And it comes with nine shades that you can do a monochromatic look with. And they're actually coming out with more of these nine pan palettes that you can do multiple different looks with. They're not as monochromatic as these ones are, but these are $12. That, I mean, it's crazy. You get nine shades for $12. And ColourPop's formula is really great. You can do so many different looks, even with these monochromatic palettes, and the price difference is crazy. This one actually comes with a little bit more product. The pan sizes are 1.3 grams, where these are 1.1 grams, but this is over twice the price. So this is definitely cheaper per gram when you think about it. So that's why I say these are not worth the hype. For the formula, I think they are. I think they're great. But for the price, I would say no. Okay, we've got two more categories. The next one is a favorite palette from a favorite brand. I picked the Masquerade Mini by Juvia's Place. This is what the palette looks like. It is super colorful, but if you cut out this top section, it is just a straight neutral palette. So you can use this for every day, or you can just throw any of these colors all over your lid and it would look gorgeous. The formula is amazing on Juvia's Place palettes. I like the mattes and the shimmers are amazing. And then the last category is my most used palette. And this is the Tardis Pro from Tarte. Here is the palette right here. I love the Tarte formulas. It smells amazing. It smells similar to the Too Faced palettes. You get that like chocolate vanilla scent, which I enjoy. I don't mind having scented Shades, I do have the Too Faced Peach Palette, so that one definitely has a strong peach scent. But if you enjoy the scent, it doesn't really bother me that much. I did use this today because I actually haven't picked this up in a long time. Ow! I just wanted to use it again because I do love it. I love the purple tones in here and you get that berry tone. Then you have this blue one in the corner, which is a duochrome actually so you can see the blue but then it's very shifty which I really like. I've had this one for years and I used it so much even though it doesn't really look too used except for those few shades but I did get so much use out of this it's amazing so this is definitely my most used palette since I bought it. And those were all the categories that were included in the tag. I thought this was a really fun video to do. I haven't done any tag videos before, and as soon as I saw Allie and Samantha post this, I knew I wanted to do this, and I knew this was going to be my first tag video, so I'm really excited about that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give it a thumbs up if you did, and please subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!